What's going on guys? Gomes here back again on another uh, MLB The Show 20 Diamond Dynasty video. Uh, today we're going over Program Extreme. We got the whole deets, the whole inside in from, well, not necessarily. Uh, they had a stream, damn it. That's how we figured out what's in it. And uh, it's a lot of a mixed bunch. There's three free 99s. There's Conquest. There's Showdown. There's Moments. Uh, these, everything, came from the pits of Mordor. It's coming in expeditiously hot. Uh, but before we come in expeditiously hot, make sure to leave a like down below. That would probably be appreciated and subscribe i know that would be appreciated so uh let's quickly look at the top snow cards before we get into moments extreme uh this update should be live by the time i'm done talking here we go jorge alfaro is gonna get one here for the miami marlins uh kind of weird they got rid of one catcher with 70 plus speed and rio mito and hey you know alfaro is a, a pretty solid catcher as well 90 plus power 193 on the contact respectively 99 arm strength at the backstop pretty uh, damn important not a bad card uh marlins looking to maybe sneak into one of those final playoff spots uh take a shot if you fucking expected that thing to happen this year next up a lot of pitchers you're gonna see corbin burns been a big surprise for the brewers uh him and uh devin williams two standout pitchers unfortunately they're still not very good thanks to guys like yelich um burns really good repertoire sinker cutter slider change up curveball mm, i would kiss well no i wouldn't do that but uh, i like it i do appreciate it 105 on the hit nine 110 on the canine 77 walk nine 99 overall break 86 overall control uh really good pitcher only 90 stamina not gonna pitch too deep but i do like the looks of that one uh Aaron Nola. Usually we don't see too big of names, but Aaron Nola, again, back to his MLB uh, 18 form, what he was doing in that season. Uh, problem. In the game, he only forced, uh, forced him sinker knuckle curveball and a changeup uh that's not good you're kind of limited to what you can do he's not he does not have the full batman utility belt uh so he's not as wealthy as bruce wayne he has to actually rely on superpowers um which he has appeared to have this year because he's been really fucking good um 111 of the k9 92 hit 9 90 bb9 uh not bad but i'll be honest uh probably not going to be looking his way uh mike clevenger again we're getting another pretty big name a pretty big starter um and that is is going to be the newly acquired San Diego Padre. Uh, 103 hit 9, 110 K9, again 80 BB9. Um, four seam slider, curveball, change up a cutter, not bad repertoire. It's going to throw in uh, 95, 96 if you get on your knees and perform certain favors. Um, not bad, not a bad card at all. And then finally, Michael Conforto. No buck daddy, I'm not too happy about that one, but uh, Conforto is a nice consolation prize and he's going to have diamond defense. Again, only in 2020 would we be saying these words um great against righties 111 103 splits but he's been killing it this year against lefties and he gets the love nearly 100 splits per side against lefties too let's get into extreme baby strap on your bulletproof condom because you're gonna need all the protection you can get let's look at the rewards first 99 mvp christian yelich i specifically said in my video yesterday i don't think this is gonna happen because I was pretty sure that he was going to be the uh, second Lightning Diamond for the month of September. Kind of how we saw Castellanos. Um, I guess Yelich is going to be coming in here. I don't know who that means uh, the September guy is going to be for uh, next or this month. But Yelich, 110 and 117 against uh, or on contact. 108 and 102 uh, for power. 77 vision. Not a strong suit, but not bad. 78 fielding. Not a strong suit but not bad 72 arm again not a strong suit but not too bad it is notable all these cards are prestigeable all three bosses uh i believe once you get it you can prestige it they were kind of weird in how they worded it they almost made it sound you had to get all three before you can prestige them i don't think that's going to be the case i think once you get them you can go ahead and get the stats i don't think they're uh, going to have an admission fee of uh breaking another control they throw out moments extreme if you want to get all the way to yelich but Really good card right there. Uh, Nate Pearson, future star. A lot of people were wondering where this card's going to come in. I'll be honest, I was pretty shocked at some of these rewards. I thought we were going to see a lot more Legends. I think they're really good rewards. Do not get me wrong. I just didn't expect that we were going to see so many current... Well, I guess 66.6666666. I had to go over the three sixes uh, just to remain holy. Uh, Nate Pearson, four seam slider, curveball, and change... Of course, eh, 
Gomes, does he have outlier? Hey, is that a fucking question? Of course he does. I don't even have to flip over the card. Well, I can't because it's a screenshot, but take my word for it. 111 uh, hit 9, 107 K9. People might be alarmed at the four pitches. I say no. 102 on the four seam, huge differential. 17 mile per hour drop off on the changeup, even more so on the curveball. And then you have the slider, which is a nice dispersity, nine miles an hour from the four seam. I think he's going to be great. Again, not too much stamina, but hey. Uh, pitchers nowadays don't typically come equipped with that. And then finally, the Iron Horse, Lou Gehrig. Uh, thought this was going to be our flawless reward. Uh, it came a, a few days late. Uh, they didn't splurge for the expedited shipping. Um, 125, 119 contact, 112 and 106 power, 10, uh, 117 vision. Silver defense, 64 speed. This is signature series card. Again, this is a one-to-one -one copy. All the attributes are exactly what he had last year. And I've mentioned this a lot. He was my favorite card of all last season. I mashed with him like no other. Righty, righty. <laughs> Good luck, lefty, lefty. <laughs> Good luck. It doesn't fucking matter when it comes to Sweet Lou. He does the damn thing, and I am very much... Well, not looking forward to playing these goddamn games, but I'm looking forward to get Lou Gehrig back on the team, man. Uh, so that's going to be the three new rewards. Like I said, they're all prestigeable. Um, I don't have the screenshots for you because I want to get this uh, out as soon as possible, but um, remember... With the exception of stats that go over 125, uh, for example, Lou Gehrig's contact against righties at 125 is not going to move, but everything else is plus threes. Uh, taking a look, this is a bit of an inside uh, look, and Lou Gehrig is the top reward. It looks like it is, it's kind of hard to see. But it kind of looks like it would be Yelich, Pearson, and then Gehrig. It makes sense. That's the order they revealed it in. Uh, but you can see Beach Ball Pack, Ducks Elite, uh, five ball or five goal player packs. And let's take a look at Showdown. So, Showdown's interesting. There is no actual moments. It consists of just mini bosses. As you can see, phase six bosses, difficulty ranges from veteran to hall of fame, which obviously is going to be the one that you play on last at, um, at the very least. And, uh, yeah. So it's going to look like this. You do get extra players. Your draft is going to have a prestige player guaranteed in the first round. So you can kind of uh, use one of those. Hopefully you get some good ones. Uh, like Prestige Trout, Prestige Mantle. That would be ideal. That would be a utopian society. Um, but, yeah, you can skip. You can go nuts to butts. You can go no condom. Going in raw. Do I recommend it down 20 to nothing against Nate Pearson on Hall of Fame? Probably not. Um, I'm not going to do that. Uh, you have 30 outs this time. Uh, they said you get 11 runs, I do believe. They said you're only down 9, so it would make it 11 to 20 with 30 outs. If you do all the mini bosses again, I don't know how economical... That's really going to be, because uh, these could be pretty difficult. The one that we can see here is on All-Star. Um, Eight-run deficit, 24 outs. Doesn't seem too hard. Again, you might have one prestige diamond at the start of your draft, and you get all, you know, live series pirates like we talked about. Who knows? Um, but let's move on to Moments Extreme. Uh, with some nice arc, uh, nice artwork, they did a good job there again. Uh, they only let us preview one, and it looks like the depths of hell, as uh, you can see from Extreme right there. Uh, hit three home runs with the new Yelich on Hall of Fame. So, uh, yeah, fuck whoever designed this moment. You're kind of a piece of shit. Uh, I probably think less of you as well. Um, don't know who you face against the Cardinals. I would guess it's probably Flaherty. Uh, hope to God they didn't manufacture a Bob Gibson just for this moment. But we're going to have to give it a gander. That's all we know about moments extreme expect pretty similar to what we saw last year and then conquest extreme uh they said there's a ton of packs i'm probably gonna do i don't know when i'll do this but i will have hidden pack locations out for you they said none of them are actually on um None of them are on strongholds. So if you just want to cherry pick through this, you can get the majority of them without having to play. If you have no interest in playing Moments Extreme, take a look at this because you're still going to get some great packs, the most ever, they said. And, and of course, what makes Conquest Extreme hard is because you have to do X amount of strongholds in X amount of turns. So you're going to have to play a lot of games on Hall of Fame, Legend. I don't find that too difficult, personally. 
I'm quite of an elite gamer barbarian, as we spoke of. I'm not too concerned. I think this is going to be the easiest of the three. I think Moments is still going to be the most difficult, just because that's random as fuck. Uh, Showdown's going to be probably second in Conquest. Uh, it's going to take time, but it's probably going to be the easiest. So uh, that's Moments Extreme in a nutshell. It did indeed be uh, it did indeed be conceived from the depths of hell, uh, the same the same place where the One Ring was founded. Hopefully, we don't see Smeagol trying to bite your leg off at some point, but I wouldn't be surprised. It's probably going to feel like it. Uh, prayers to you guys' as controllers. Again, uh, maybe I'll do a controller giveaway at some point. I might stream twitch.tv slash golemstilletion. I actually probably will, so make sure and give that a gander. Uh, fuck yeah, man. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Hope you guys have a great day. Let me know if you're actually going to play. Uh, yeah, good luck.